One ought every day at least to hear a little song, read a good poem, see a fine picture, and if it were possible to speak a few reasonable words. If you treat an individual as he is, he will remain how he is. But if you treat him as if he were what he ought to be and could be, he will become what he ought to be and could be. A man should hear a little music, read a little poetry, and see a fine picture every day of his life, in order that worldly cares may not obliterate the sense of the beautiful which God has implanted in the human soul. Daring ideas are like chessmen moved forward. They may be beaten, but they may start a winning game. As soon as you trust yourself, you will know how to live. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, Faust, First Part We do not have to visit a madhouse to find disordered minds. Our planet is the mental institution of the universe I have possessed, that heart, that noble soul, in whose presence I seem to be more than I really was, because I was all that I could be. If I love you, what business is it of yours? A man sees in the world what he carries in his heart. You can easily judge the character of a man by how he treats those who can do nothing for him. The human race is a monotonous affair. Most people spend the greatest part of their time working in order to live, and what little freedom remains, so fills them with fear that they seek out any and every means to be rid of it. There is nothing more frightful than ignorance in action. If you've never eaten while crying, you don't know what life tastes like. To think is easy. To act is hard. But the hardest thing in the world is to act in accordance with your thinking. Know thyself. If I knew myself, it'd run away. I bid the chords sweet music make, and all must follow in my wake. Niemand ist mehr Sklave, als der sich für frei hält, ohne es zu sein. None are more hopelessly enslaved than those who falsely believe they are free. Nothing shows a man's character more than what he laughs at. A person hears only what they understand. I have so much in me and the feeling for her absorbs it all. I have so much and without her it all comes to nothing. By seeking and blundering we learn. Magic is believing in yourself. If you can do that, you can make anything hap. Things which matter most must never be at the mercy of things which matter least. The world is so empty if one thinks only of mountains, rivers, and cities. But to know someone who thinks and feels with us, who though distant is close to us in spirit, this makes the earth for us an inhabited garden. Knowing is not enough we must apply. Willing is not enough we must do. There is nothing worse than aggressive stupidity. Every day one should at least hear one little song read, one good poem, see one fine painting, and if at all possible speak a few sensible words. Life belongs to the living and he who lives must be prepared for changes. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, August 28, 1749. March 22, 1832, was a German poet, playwright, novelist, and scientist. He is considered one of the greatest literary figures of his age, and not only. In 1765, Goethe left home to study law as his father wished, but due to his illness, probably tuberculosis, he returned home without a degree. However, while at the university, Goethe was much more absorbed with writing, but he presumably burned some of his works as he considered them unworthy. Often regarded as Germany's Shakespeare, Goethe achieved fame at the age of 25 after the release of his novel, The Sorrows of Young Werther. It is said that the novel had such an influence on men of sensibility that it has made suicide fashionable for them. But Faust remains Goethe's masterpiece. He started the two-part poetic drama around the age of 23 and finished it only months before his death. The legend of the erudite who sells his soul to the devil for unlimited knowledge and worldly pleasures has been the basis for many other artistic works. You can easily judge the character of a man by how he treats those who can do nothing for him. Daring ideas are like chessmen moved forward. They may be beaten, but they may start a winning game. Enjoy when you can, and endure when you must. One ought every day at least to hear a little song, read a good poem, see a fine picture. And if it were possible to speak a few reasonable words, a person hears only what they understand. I have come to the frightening conclusion that I am the decisive element. It is my personal approach that creates the climate. It is my daily mood that makes the weather.
Courage is the commitment to begin without any guarantee of success. In the realm of ideas, everything depends on enthusiasm in the real world, all rests on perseverance. As soon as you trust yourself, you will know how to live. To think is easy, to act is hard. But the hardest thing in the world is to act in accordance with your thinking. We do not have to visit a madhouse to find disordered minds. Our planet is the mental institution of the universe. Instruction does much but encouragement everything. If you treat an individual as he is, he will remain how he is. But if you treat him as if he were what he ought to be and could be, he will become what he ought to be and could be. There is nothing more frightful than ignorance in action. By seeking and blundering we learn. Magic is believing in yourself. If you can do that, you can make anything happen. Life belongs to the living and he who lives must be prepared for changes. Nothing is worth more than this day. You cannot relive yesterday. Tomorrow is still beyond your reach. Behavior is the mirror in which everyone shows their image. We must always change, renew, rejuvenate ourselves. Otherwise we harden. Kindness is the golden chain by which society is bound together. Dream No small dreams, for they have no power to move the hearts of men. Everything is hard before it is easy.